Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. What is inside this Glock case surprised me. It shocked me. I, I was looking around to see if there were cameras and, and, a, and a crew ready to come out and say, ha, gotcha. And it turned out that that's not the case at all. This is real. And I said, that is the stupidest, most worthless, irrelevant Glock I have ever seen. Now, I accept the fact that 380 has made a comeback. It was popular, then it went away, now it's popular again. And you're seeing manufacturers left and right make 380 ACP handguns. Very popular ones. Beretta, ADX Cheetah, Glock makes a midsize, like a 4-inch barrel Glock 25, 380. The Glock 42's been around. Many. Ruger has several. They, they're, they're, they're making them. Now, I'm not defending the round. I don't care about the round. I have 380s, but I, I care about the people who choose the round. That's who I'm defending. It's easier to shoot, less recoil. People prefer it. Hey, I've got your back. I don't have my back. I don't have your back on this one, I should say, because this is crazy. So what are we talking about? Unbelievable. What's in this case reminds me of a six foot four guy dating a midget. It just doesn't seem to fit properly. And what is it? It is the Glock 28. Look at that grip. Look at that thing. I, I, I tried to drop the mag. I can't drop the mag. It, it's like near impossible. Why, why is it so hard to drop the mag? Well, let me tell you. Glock patterned this after the Glock 26. Okay? Glock 26 is chambered in 9mm. This is chambered in 380. So... Why, why can't my thumb reach the mag without really changing the grip angle? Because the Glock engineers were too lazy to come up with a pattern specifically for this gun. They came up with a Glock 26 with these horrible finger grooves that dig right into the meat of my finger when I grip it. But they also have these spacers inside the mag. So if I take the Glock 26 mag... Chamber 9mm, and we all know 9mm is a little bit longer. It fits just fine. If they made a base plate like that, or at least included it in the case, I wouldn't complain so much. It's hard to drop that mag, I tell you. But I am complaining. Look at, look at this thing. When I first saw this, I said, when did that thing come out, and who in their right mind would buy that? It's got spacers in there. Okay, it's very fat, it's very wide, it's got the 3.42 inch barrel, and, and Glock says this would be ideal for pocket carry. You know what's ideal for pocket carry? The Glock 42, or the car CT380. Now, this has two 10 round mags. This has a single stack seven round mag, but I have mag guts in there, eight rounds, with two less rounds. I would pocket carry this. I would ankle carry it, even though that's not my thing. You get where I'm going. I would not do that with this. This is like 21 ounces. It's, it's big. It's fat. It's ugly. And the grip is too short. Now, I'm a fan of changing grip sizes. Glock 19. Then they have the Glock 45. Check that out. Long grip, 17 round mags. Love this handgun. Okay. I get it. Works great. I, I don't understand this. I don't understand the purpose. You have the Glock 42. You can get mag guts for the Glock 42. All right. If you if you thinned out the grip and made the mag or the, the grip drop about that much lower and put a decent sized mag on there, get that mag out. Let's see. There we go. And perhaps 13, 14 rounds. I think this would be kind of cool and I wouldn't be making this video. I think this is funny. That, seriously, that's funny. Now, let's compare the, this Glock 28 with the Ruger Security 380. This is much less expensive. It has higher capacity. And let's check out the grip because that's the biggest thing. I have to drop the mag like this because... All right, we'll look at the mags there. Big difference. Big difference. But then... What was I going to do? Look at the grips. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, it goes about three quarters of an inch 
lower than the Glock 28 on the left. Let's put the bag in. We'll check it out. Okay, I'm gonna do some shooting now. Got those horrible finger grooves digging right into like I, I it just doesn't work for me. And I believe it wouldn't work for most people. No finger grooves here, but wait for it. Check this out. Wait for it. Ready? Look at that. Feels like a real gun. This feels like a squirt gun. And, a, and an ugly squirt gun at that. All right, and you compare it with something like this you're looking at a big weight difference. So let, let's check that out. All right, here we have the Glock 28 unloaded. I have it on ounces, 20 and 7 8 ounces. We'll round up to 21. Let's check out the Ruger Security 380. 19 and 3 quarters, so approximately a little over an ounce lighter. And then the CT380. You say, well, well, that's not fair. I'll tell you what's not fair selling this gun for 550 bucks. That's not fair, okay? It's not fair. It's not fair to the people who enjoy 380, the people who love Glock, or the people who want a decent shooting handgun with a, a comfortable feel. This is, this is like horrible. 12 and 7 eighths, we'll round that up to 13. Much lighter. So if I'm going to ankle carry or pocket carry a 380, I'm going with something like this. I'd go with the, the Bodyguard 2.0, Ruger LCP Max. I would do uh, the, the CW 380, many others. I would not carry this in the pocket. You got to be nuts, okay? And, and the fact that it's only holding 10 rounds is pretty bad. And I, I I would think Mag Guts, who make a business model over creating spring kits for magazines that can add, they say the, the last round's on us. I highly doubt they're going to make it for this because I just don't see this selling very well at all. Look at that. It is, it, it's actually pretty comical. Let me show you the Glock 26 before you say, well, I got a Glock 26 and I would get the Glock 28. Well, go for it, but this is way, way better. And with the same magazine capacity of 10 rounds in 9mm, what would you really go with? Would you go with this or this thing? I, my, my choice is clear. I think it's irrelevant. I think it's rather stupid, kind of funny looking, and it, to me it just makes no sense. I want to know if you think it does, because, <laughs> because I spent this whole video ripping on this thing, and I think the one thing it is worthy of is that butt kicking I just gave it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.